Hi, Vlogger here, the world's youngest corporate video blogger from Connections for Business. I'm here with Steve Wiper from Cypress and Sherman's. Hi, Steve. Hey, Rocco. Nice to see you again. What lessons can Steve? What lessons can we learn from Superstorm Sandy? That's a great question, Rocco. Thanks for asking. Superstorm Sandy produced enormous financial loss in the Northeast, and you know it. The damage from Superstorm Sandy was no was very similar to Katrina. Most of the loss came from flood, from flooding, from storm surge, where the where the uh, ocean rose up and caused a lot of damage. And what we've got there is a case typical case of flood insurance damage. Now your typical property policy provides coverage for for all of your stuff, but it excludes coverage from rising water or flood. Flood insurance can be purchased from the National Flood Insurance Program, and a lot of the homes, it appears, didn't have flood insurance. Uh, a lot of people are mistaken with the idea that FEMA is going to come in and save the day and rebuild their homes. But really what happens is FEMA might come in and provide some housing to you temporarily and provide some assistance in the way of loans that you have to re repay to have your home rebuilt you're much better off buying a flood insurance policy. What about businesses? Good question. Businesses have the same issue. Uh, flood insurance is not included in their property insurance policies and they should be buying a separate flood insurance policy for their business. Now what happens when a business gets damaged from flood is that you know, it may pay for their contents but they have no coverage and the flood insurance program doesn't provide any coverage for their loss of income that they might have. So it could be disastrous for a business to have a flood even with flood insurance. So business continuity is very, very important. Wow! Thank you. Bye. Bye. It takes a girl to get a blog right.